Holy cow, guys, look at this cowl. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deidre Squires, and today we are talking about the Twist and Shout cowl um, that's found on the Yarn Inspirations website. Um, this pattern was, how should I say it? This pattern was better than I thought it was going to be. I saw it on the Inspiration website. I printed out the pattern and I was like, yeah, it looks pretty cute. Um, but I wasn't expecting this level, <laughs> this level of texture. And it was so easy and fun to make. It wasn't boring. And just look, look at the texture. And it's so squishy. Oh, the squish factor is amazing on this. So this pattern is considered an intermediate level pattern, which I was a little intimidated by because I'm not sure where I am in the whole beginner intermediate experts range. Like I've been crocheting for a long time, but I haven't branched out into a lot of different stitches and patterns until fairly recently, actually. So this was, a little intimidating first. I thought it looked cute. I said, let's give it a shot. So this pattern calls for Karen Simply Soft in Party. Patty? In Party. So, which is a worsted weight yarn, which if you followed me before, worsted weight yarns are my favorite type of yarns to use. So the pattern calls for a five millimeter hook. And to get to the dimensions, luckily the pattern shows the dimensions um, at, before you, before the actual, um pattern itself it tells you how big it's going to be um and that's how I was able to determine that I needed to go up to an eight millimeter hook just because of tension and whatnot I probably could have gotten the dimensions using a seven and a half millimeter hook but unfortunately I don't have a seven and a half millimeter hook I'm not even sure if they make one they probably do they make they make hooks in all sorts of sizes so but I had to go up to an eight millimeter hook to get to the dimensions. The best part of this pattern is that is the same stitches over and over again, nine times in a round. So each round is done in a set of nine, 10 stitches done nine times, and each row, two stitches change. So you'll have, you'll have your round, you'll do like all back post, stitches, then you'll do nine back post stitches and one front post stitch, and then eight back post, two front post. It's like that. Every round is, is a little differently and you do it twice. So you go, actually you do it four times because it, it goes, you increase one way, then decrease the same way. It's, it's really, it's fun to do. It's easy to make. It's one of those patterns that you can take with you, or if you don't, you know, once you get the pattern down, once you get, get it set in your mind, how it goes, it is, it's something you can take with you and not really need the pattern. So I'm gonna hold it up for you again. So it's huge. I took a quick shot with me on it. It's so warm. It is such a warm project. Um, and I was able to make this pretty, uh, it took me a couple days. Of course, I was doing it while we were on vacation when my brother-in-law was home. So I didn't, like I brought it with me, but I didn't necessarily work with it all the time. So I'll bring it up to you. But you can see like, it goes from nine front posts to eight front posts, or it's 10, it's 10 done nine times. So, um, but like the front posts and then you've got the back posts. So it's got this really nice um, visual. It's got this really nice visual um, texture as well as this really squishy, warm um, ridges that it has um, and this, the, just the squishiness of it. You know, the, the physical um, feel of it is so nice. And it's so warm. Like I cannot wear it right now. <laughs> it's late, mid, mid to late May in central New York. And we've had nine, two 90 degree days. I could not wear this <laughs> for very long for you guys, even in the morning, just because it's so 
so warm. And I wish, I wish I had known ahead of time that I would love this pattern as much as I do because my one re big regret is that it is an orange. An orange is not my favorite color, but I really like this. I wish I would could wear it more. Um, I mean, I, we do live in SU country. If you don't know who S Syracuse University, the orange men or the orange, I think it's just the orange now. So I definitely can wear this during like football season and uh, basketball season for SU, but I wouldn't wear it any other time. So, but, and this is um, just a red heart, uh, vibrant orange, worsted weight yarn. If you're in, um, curious as to what kind of yarn I used, I mean, it's, it's gonna be amazing or it is amazing. <laughs> so, all right, guys, this is, I would definitely give this, uh, my stamp of approval for being a great pattern, easy pattern, fun pattern, quick pattern. If you want to make something that's interesting and so good, so glad I did it. So, especially since I wasn't sure about this pattern, cause I wasn't sure based on the picture if I liked it. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and follow me for more pattern reviews. If you have a pattern that you want reviewed, whether it's a pattern you made or a pattern that you found that you want some tips and tricks on, I would love to hear from you guys. Just leave a comment below with a pattern and maybe the next video will be the pattern that you requested. All right, thanks guys. You have a great week and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.